Here we are then, Justin Bricklot again. We've got who are you? Alien dance. No, no. Who are you? Uh, hello, I'm Eloise. Who are you? Josh. Right. We are the Haynes family. Bricklot. We are on a walk to Rossilly in West Wales, the Gower Peninsula. Absolutely stunning area. We'll show you some more in this. Very beach, windy. Very windy, <laughs> as you can tell. This beach has been voted in the top ten of world beaches continuously and it's absolutely amazing. So we're going to take you on the walk, then, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Eloise and Amelia are my two daughters. And Josh is my son in law to be. So here we are, family day out. So see you in a minute. Journey, 12th century church. Uh, so we're going to be starting to go up a really little steep hill in a minute. So this is the start. This is the lovely little church. Never far away from a church in Wales, are you? Ben Mill, Josh, L. Oh. There's a church there. We are going way up there, and we're going to have a lovely, lovely view of that beach over there. So let's go for it. What an amazing place. And we are going. Oh, we're going up there. Come on in, girls. Hey, sorry. YouTube's waiting for you. We can have some uh, fun getting me up there now. You watch. This is the worst bit. Oh my God. Well, it started. The puffing and pant is starting already. <laughs> Five minutes in. Oh, God. Would <laughs> <laughs> you rather that all starve to death in a cave alone on your own? What's the film you're on about, Al? I think it's 127 hours. No, it's 100 and... No, what is it? I don't know. It is, it's 127 hours. Oh, is there? Yeah. yeah. Where the guy chops his arm off, because he's stuck. Yeah. So we got halfway up this hill now. <laughs> and Eloise is already on about chopping your arm off, Al. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You think you're if you get stuck? Oh. Media, where have you gone? How are you doing? So come in here. Look. Oh, Dad. What are you doing? I've got a bright red face. Because I'm hot. I'm, I'm hot. <sighs> Although I'm not doing too bad. <sighs> Christ, oh. I look old. You are old. I am old. I smell old. Guys, <laughs> <sighs> no, I don't think I can do it. I think a bit of wheeze coming out of me as well, Mel. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, Al. I can't. You can. No, seriously, I thought that was guys. Really? <sighs> Come on. I can't. Yeah, you can. I know, I can't. No such word as can't. Uh, this is not good. Oh, dear Lord. I need to get my coat off. You know. Josh is up there, look. This is where we're going. Oh. Come on, Al, if old people can do it, so can you. Oh, my God. Bugger sat down up there. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm going. It's happening. Oh. Whew. We should have pinched one of them horses. Hey, we should have pinched one of them horses from the field, like you said, Josh. Oh. Oh. Well, oh shit. I got where I thought it was the top. Uh, and I just realised there's more help. Oh my god. <sighs> Do you don't want to see me? Come on girls. Dig deep. Gower Peninsula. <laughs> this is why we're here. So Rossilly, this is, isn't it? Yeah. Worm's Head there. There's the 12th century church. And where are we going next, Josh? Up more hill. Up more hill. We're going boldly. Up there, she's gonna be gutted now when she sees this. When as soon as she sees this now, she's gonna be like, Oh my god, should we tell her? Should we tell her this is the top or what? Right, come on, I'll get to this bit and then you'll be happy. I can't, 
Yeah, you can. Oh, there's a tiny bit there. Come on, you got those new bloody trainers on. Right, we'll regroup and uh, see you. Oh. Is there any hospitals close to you there, Charles? The thing is, my leg. I'm not Just told the kids. Step on the mounds, Al. Mill, don't step on the mounds. You should have believed me, Josh. All the paragliders that have jumped off here to go over to there, look, over to that. Every one of them has unfortunately passed away. Each mound represents their body, doesn't it, Josh? Well, you did believe me for about three minutes, didn't you? Uh, one minute. Her teeth are in her. Oh, God. So if you look closely there, I don't think I can zoom in anymore. Right in the centre of the screen is an old shipwreck. Do you have a shipwreck there, Mel? See in the centre of the screen on the sand? That's an old ship right there. God knows from when. It looks like a wooden boat, so it must be from the 1800s or 1700s or whatever, I don't know. So, and apparently that there, above the car park and Rossi Little Village, where we part the kind of church was, all that is medieval farmland. And you can still see the shape of what they shaped it back there. But it's starting to see now the absolute beauty of not only my children and Josh, but this is an absolutely beautiful place. You can't help but marvel in the beauty of it all, Al, can you? It's Worm's Head there, and I think me and Josh were just talking, because I'm going to get our bearings, I think it's uh, into the Gower over there where you've got um, Trescythe uh, going over towards uh, Plant Braddock. It's just a beautiful, oh, really? beautiful area. First oh, national park in the UK. We're blessed because we got the Brecon Beacons National Park half hour from us, 40 minutes, haven't we? Yeah. And we got this. How long did it take us to get here? Hour and 40 minutes? So, on a nice day, you can't fault Wales, can you? On a horrible day, you want to move to Spain, That's don't you, Al? How's your teeth? They actually got better now. Her teeth are better, Josh. How's your ears, Mel? Oh, still coming. Still coming. There we are. So that there, that beach extends from Ross Hilly into a place called Slangenith. Sand dunes there. Really, really nice beach. You've got to go to a different car park for that one, but we're kind of walking there. And right in the distance between the gap there, the blue, is Bury Port. It's just all lovely up here. And we got the highest, you got the that little marker there. It's the highest point on Gower. So I've never done this walk before. So this is where we are now. Look. Around. It's oh girls. You happy now, girls? What? You both happy now? Much better now, yeah. Yeah, you. your teeth are your teeth are alright now. Yeah. There we are. Her teeth are alright now. You alright, Josh? Josh is training to be a personal trainer. Isn't you, Josh? So this is right up your street, mate, isn't it? Right, let's get to this. Let's get to this marker, shall we? So, we've done it. We reached the top, so I'm going to show you a 360. So this is where we are. This is the highest point now on Gower. So there's the way marker there, look. In the Bury Port, in the little town there called Slanetli. got to be here to appreciate this. This is absolutely Worm's Head. Absolutely stunning. So we're all talking about that little house down there. So I think it's called it's called the Rectory or something, isn't it? 
I checked online before we went, so I'm not this knowledgeable. We were built in the 1800s, uh, so it was a rectory. And then there was, um, they used to have radar up here to, for the World War II to spot the planes coming in. So that was a radar house, a radar unit. The people used to operate the radar, used to stay there, and now it's owned by the National Trust. And you can rent that house out for holiday in, and it's the, the it's really really luxurious and full of splendor. So I mean, it needs to be, doesn't it? Because if you're going to sit in there and you want to look at the views, you want to be in luxury. So anybody thinking about spending some hard-earned money on site from bricklaying or whatever, then uh, hopefully you could afford it. Maybe not, but get in there. I forgot to say that that six thousand years ago was a bronze bronze age fort, and it's a burial ground here as well so 6,000 years ago it's hard to think in it that 6,000 years ago Bronze Age man would have been looking out at this same view so absolutely amazing yeah a couple of wild horses for you there what did you just say to me Al when they were walking together she said oh look they're a couple look at that wild horses there's a lot of wild horses in Wales still left the old Welsh cob yeah, they're, they're, it's, <laughs> I think they're dwarves. They're called Welsh cobs, I think, Mel. Is that what it's so short? Like Welsh horses. So you've got horses there, and then just into the little distance over there, you're never far away from a sheep in Wales, Eloise, are you? And we've still, we still got yeah. some fantastic views. But, yeah, on the heath, or the mountain, the mynydd, whatever you want to bloody call it, you can't fault it, can you? Let's go and enjoy it, El, shall we? Yeah. El, Mill, yeah. see that horse there? Yeah. That is the horse, you know the Lloyd's advert with all the black horses? That's spirit. That's the horse off that advert. Look at the statue. Black, the black, what's it called? The black, something. Yeah, black moved. Beauty. Oh my God, he's large. He is nice, it's, isn't he? He looks like a statue. Hey. Quickly, this is the old place where the radar used to be for World War Two. So we're... Uh, Along the coast of Britain, there was loads of these special new technology, this radar that was put up to uh, look out there to see, to see the Luftwaffe coming in and, oh God, imagine living in that. It must have been absolutely horrific. But there we are, this is where the radar used to be. Oh my God, it looks like a scorpion. Oh my God, it's a scorpion. It's a scorpion. It? It's a scorpion. Oh, it look at the back of it. There's an ant. <gasps> Dad, don't go close to it because that back of thing will attack oh, you. Oh, yeah, Dad, don't because you've got... What the hell is that? It is a scorpion. Yeah. It's got a, it's got, um, a what's oh, called on the back of him now. Oh, he knows they're watching him. He knows they're watching. Ooh, Josh, ooh. don't do that. You'll die. I think it's Anyone like... knows what the hell that is? Leave him in the comments below. Yeah, I'm very intrigued. Amelia thinks it's a scorpion. Josh is dying to taste it. <laughs> what do you reckon it is, Al? I, I think it's a scorpion, you know, a baby one. Look at the back of it. That's you me. don't get scorpions here, though. Ooh. Josh. Yeah. <gasps> right, he's coming to me, so I'm off. Got it wrong. They must have been outbuildings. This is the radar station. <laughs> I think I got it wrong. Got it wrong. This is the radar station from World War II, the remnants of it. You can imagine the huge, huge, you've seen them on the TV. They are massive, massive... Uh, radar stations right up into the sky big massive things i think britain was uh, like a leading the leading people for radar back then so it just brings it all into perspective doesn't it looking out and seeing them bloody planes coming over to attack your country i mean oh, awful Don't go take some one of them. You might end up walking off a cliff, hell. Oh no! At least you, at least you will. Uh, at least your teeth won't be hurting anymore. Yeah. Oh, there's another bit of a radar centre down there as well. So all over the place, yeah. You can still see the natural beauty of this place. You can see why it's been voted in the top ten beaches in the world. I mean, it's just. I keep saying it. It's fantastic. Oh, sorry about the. the about being out of breath. So we've just come down there now from the radar. So that's where we park the car in the distance there. And this is the beach we was at there. This is the beach. Right the way now. So where the sand dunes start. Oh, that's Langenith. Little caravans park there. 
And do you know what? I don't know what that beach is there, where the, another little caravan place is. It looks really, really nice there. We'll have to have a check of that on the map, but this is all it, this is it now. In this absolute splendour. So we're going to get down, down onto the beach. So we'll stay tuned, we'll show you some more of, uh, of being right down onto the beach. So, whew, stay with us. We've just had to walk down that now. I don't know if you can see how steep this is, but oh, I tell you what, it's really difficult, Elle, isn't it? Really, really difficult. So, we've still got to go down there, onto the caravan park. Caravan? Caravan. So yeah, it'll be really tricky. Pretty much at the bottom now. Plan to get near the caravan park, and oh, I found it harder going downhill than I did going uphill. That's not even. As really oh, steep that is. Where the people are at the top, if you can see them, there's more. So it's just not just that bit. It's this, when you're doing it, it's more like vertical, L, isn't it? And uh, the old knees are playing up now. So let's get to Eddie's cafe and get some coffee and tea down us, is it? There's a rabbit there. Look. Thumper. I'm a thumper. So we were up there, and now we're coming onto the sand dunes now. Look in Flangenith. You alright, girls? Well, yeah, kind of. It's really hard walking this sand. Yeah, that was a challenge coming down there. That's where we came down. Oh yeah. I mean, this caravan park. When I first came here as a kid, we used to come down here with my mates when I was about 17 in the cars, and there was no caravan park. You know, just to park up, go across the sand dunes onto the beach, and just spend the day in the sea. You know. But um, this is really nice and quiet. Flangeni the Caravan Park. I mean, Beautiful. I think it's called Helen, Dad, isn't it? Is it Helen Caravan yeah. Park in Flangeni? I mean, it's just absolutely tranquil and stunning. Beautiful. Peace and quiet. You've got all the water stuff. sports and stuff here. So, yeah, I'm selling this place now as well, isn't I? Let's crack on because Josh is getting ahead of us. Look, like, he's up there. There he is. Right, let's go and get him. Morning. Oh, Eloise is getting because she wanted to go in the sea. I am the, really uh, to be this is like another habitat again now, isn't it? All these sand dunes. Yeah. We're just coming down to sea level now. We're going to find a place to BBQ? stay and, well, sit down and yeah. refuel and stuff and chill out for oh, a little bit. Oh, kind of still at Artois, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're on the coast now, down here. We've just been up on top there, you've seen all that. So we're down here, just getting the girls now up through these rocks. On, from the beach and this is where we're gonna on the sand dunes we're gonna on that stone there that i've leveled with my bricklayer's eye we're gonna have a barbecue there if everything goes right and sit there and have and have some uh, refueling so and then we got this so where we're sat we're gonna sit there and we got that as a view i mean what a lunch this is going to be as long as everything goes right so <laughs> we'll see yeah what are they called josh what's these bloody sausages called i bought caramelized onion sausages caramelized onion sausages they can't cook quick enough can they Eddie, yeah <laughs> come on how long have we been oh waiting now god. oh my god oh my god donuts. 20 minutes yeah we got donuts <laughs> yeah <laughs> what did you bring mel um, she literally brought nothing <laughs> what did you bring mel that's mine what did you bring mel <laughs> Yeah. What I did you bring, Josh? I brought myself. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That's Company. good enough then. <laughs> I want my bloody sausage. <laughs> How long does the sausage take to cook, Mel? <laughs> it's gonna have to hurry up. <laughs> it's gonna have to hurry up. <laughs> All our walking. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, El. <laughs> no! I haven't even eaten like a sauce on me. <laughs> oh my I god. See. Imagine Brad was here now. What do you think he would do? He'd Probably eat the bloody all. lot. <laughs> oh yeah, he'd be you be having a, a fight on the on the sand there, <laughs> scrapping with him over a sausage. Oh yeah, thank God he's not here. <laughs> you said you said you're gonna you said you're gonna have the donut first. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The donut You can't have the donut first, it's can you? Yeah. I mean, how long have you been on for now? These have been on for just yeah. coming up to 30 minutes now. Huh? And, 30 minutes? Yeah. Started. And they're still looking a little bit pinky, aren't they? Still a bit yeah. raw. Amelia just said to me to have mine first, so if I anyone guess salmonella, it's me. <laughs> so thanks for that, Mel. All right. Josh has eaten all his his three <laughs> rolls dry, haven't you? Yeah. You just had a sore sandwich, haven't you? <laughs> and I've, I've started eating leaves. <laughs> yeah, Eloise is eating leaves. Ah, oh, it's getting a bit painful now, isn't it? I want my sausage. <laughs> right, we're by the sea now. We've had the sausage; they were a success. Thank God, it's bloody starving. Anyway, we had a nice jam donut and all, which you didn't see that off the camera, but I'll be honest, we did have a jam donut, but don't tell me that. Anyway, down right down now by the sea. 
surfers are out, if you can see that with the glare of the camera, the surfers are out. And then um, where we were, we started right in the centre of the screen there. We walked up right the way over the top of them mountains there, right the way down, right the way down there into the caravan park and out onto you. So the girls are soaking. <laughs> came in from nowhere, no it did, they came in from the sea. I've been here a good few times and you've got to come here. You've got to get in your car and get on into that holiday caravan park there and, and get down here. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Right, we're going to be walking back across the sand now, back towards right over the top of Josh's head there, and back up towards the car in a minute, and another climb to finish the job, or the, or the day rather, so here we are, stay tuned and we'll show you the end of it now. Just coming up to the house now, the National Trust house, look. Sarah, you can't get over how fishy the sea smells. Yeah, it smells really fishy. Yeah. Well done, it. It smells like fish. <laughs> you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, it's fish in there. there's fish in it. I've never smelled this kind of fish before. Oh, God. There we are, look, that's why you smell as a fish, because you've got all the fishermen out your luck. It does seem like you ran for the fish. It's all the ragworm and lugworm you can smell. Fish. I don't know. Pollock. Pouting. Maybe be really lucky to get a sea bass. Have a look at your fish. What fish is he? A mullet. A mullet. Oh my God. How many pounds do you reckon he is? What, what do you generally catch on the beach then? Sorry? What do you generally catch on the beach? Yeah. Oh my God, look at him. Super beast supper, yeah. Nice fresh fish. Oh, can't fault it. That's in there, that's terrifying. Yeah, I know. I can bite you. <laughs> oh, look, they've got no teeth. Oh. They don't bite. Oh, it's not, is it? No, oh, no, no, no. So they, they've got spikes on the back here, which is the end of the spikes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, why? Right. But there's other fish in there, bass, which have got spikes there, pilgrims here, which are like razors. Oh, my God. And I've got a spike by there as well. Oh, it's mad. It's longer, Jack. That is right. Wow, another different one now. Look. Oh, oh wow. like a flatfish. Oh, yeah. So look at his face. Let's <laughs> have a look at his face. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lovely bit of eating though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well done. It's all worth it then coming down here to get that, isn't it? There we are. Thank you very much. There we are. That's the National Trust House that you saw when we were on top of the mountain up there. So that's it. Prime position. The only property on Ross Hilly, until you get into St. Genith where we just were with the caravans, but there's no other property on the beach until you get, obviously when you get up on top of the car park, you've got the National Trust Centre up on top of it. But that is the only house on the bottom, on, on the beach side, or down at the level of the beach. I wonder how much it would cost to stay there. I'll have to look into it. It must be absolutely fantastic. So there we are. Get yourself down to Ross City, book yourself in there, and you'd just be sat there, looking out the window the whole time, because it's spectacular, isn't it? Well, it's Worm's Head and bathing in sunshine. Have you enjoyed it? Oh. I have enjoyed it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 
a bit challenging at times, wasn't it? Yeah. Can you walk up there then? You can when the tide's down, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah, but when the tide comes in, I think it does get cut off, so you've got to be oh, careful. Right. But yeah, it's been enjoyable, haven't it? We've got to get up this. This is where we're going now. Just above a Josh and Amelia, there is a, like a causeway path to the top, which is, again, it's challenging. See if we can have a look at the shipwreck before we get there. Yeah, the beach that keeps on giving, you've got a shipwreck as well. So I have no idea at all what boat this was. It looks to me like it's an old wooden boat, so it's got some age to it by the looks of it. But it's obviously coming from here. This is where she's where she stayed. Obviously been here. Been here a while. See the one side. That's the other side of it. So left of it. Yeah. So, that's what the sailors would have seen coming into shore when they were wrecked. And that would have been it. I wonder whether any seamen lost their lives or something or they were rescued. I've no idea. Anybody knows? Let us know. Leave them in the comments below. We're just coming up to our climb now so we're all pretty much knackered. So wish us luck. I couldn't resist. We're on our walk. Yeah, just coming back. Bet you any money Bambi passes us. We'll keep the camera on now. Come on, Al. That's what we gotta get. Up to the top of there now. Oh, Bampy's passed us. <laughs> Got done by a Bampy, I know, she always do. Always do. Always do. There we are. Nearly there. With Amelia. Eloise. Oh, God. And we started off and we were all the way up there. What do you reckon, Bill? You happy with that, Josh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. yeah it's challenging. It's a challenging for the walk, did not it? Yeah, it's challenging. It's not easy. But there we are. You don't get anything without having a bit of pain, do you? you got to put the effort in. Yes. Come on, Elle. Keep going. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Uh, right, so. We just I didn't want to like anyone else. No. And I this, wanted to be unusual. Well. Is the reward for it? No. You got one as well. Mm -hmm. so everyone's got Everyone one. Everyone got a cheers. 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 Oh, damn! Oh, goodness sake! This is what we've got to put up in every day. That was you! Uh, that was you! I, I, I held my you literally went like this. You went, cheers! You looked at me! Anyway, just I'm last a few weeks on of sitting here drinking our beer. So everybody enjoy. Uh, Louise, yeah. I think you need to do She's just splashing half my beer all over me. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Right, we're back in the car and we're on our way home. So we're all completely and utterly shattered. We've shattered. had our pint and So shattered. enjoy it. Yeah. We had a little reward of a pint. Eloise nearly smashed my glass. And then she I fell over. I know. You stayed on her, on her feet through all that bog and all I those rocks and everything. I climbed mountains, I crossed the seas. <laughs> I climbed up stairs and then right before the car, boom, flat. Straight down. <laughs> Oh, oh no, you did fall once actually on the beach as well. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So there we are. It's been a fantastic day, haven't it? Yeah. So yeah, we'll uh, say goodbye. Say goodbye to YouTube world. Bye. Nice Bye. to have you with us. And please like and subscribe and see you back in work tomorrow, Monday. Cheers. Ta-ra.